All right, here's a song that I really love from the group TNT called 10,000 Lovers. Let's get into it, something a little bit like this. <laughs> opening riff. So this is um, after you're chugging on the E string. And then you have this little chord inversion thing here from a C sharp and an A on the top. And um, you can use your first finger to slide up or you can just add your second finger. I do it both ways. Or you can do it. And this, when you slide up, you get this little D a little root five combination there. And then you have the riff, which as I hear it is A, B, D, and then B, B flat, A, and A flat. beginning part on the very first opening time that he does it. By he, I mean of course the great Ronnie Laticro, amazing guitar player. So you have a G and an F sharp, and an A and a G. Anytime you get a chance to pop a note with a little pinch harmonic, I love it. which of course he did with the clean settings. Give me a second so I can change the settings on my amp um, to be something a little bit more in the ballpark. Okay, so from the C-sharp minor chord, and then we have this little A chord right here. Now normally if you would just play an A, you might do something like this where you play A, C-sharp, and E with the fingers 3, 2, and 1, but because we're coming off of this C-sharp minor, so I'm going to use 4th finger, 3rd finger, and 2nd finger. On this chord, I'm playing a B chord, just the top part of it with a 1st finger. And I'm doing this little 2nd finger off of the suspension there. And then you have this G sharp chord in the middle and then back to the picking pattern. And then the D chord right there. Fine. So now I'll change the amp back and We'll go to the chorus, which is the A. Self-explanatory, right? A, E, and D. And this is another chord that I really love, which is an E chord, actually. If you're used to thinking of an E chord as 
like a, a power chord type thing, root, five, and root. So try this, put the third finger on the fourth fret, G sharp note, and that's what you get. Um, and then he plays the little bar chord here, or the little power chord, F sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. And then he's got that riff. I'll just give you the tab. Two, four, five. Well, with the F sharp, the G sharp, and the A. Pop that note if you can. I don't think he did on the record, but that's just the way I like to do it. Your mileage may vary. You can certainly interpret this song any way you like. And that's a thing with cover songs in general, is you can bring your own interpretation to it. So I don't get uh, too freaked out in the comments when I see people going, you didn't play that exactly right. Yeah, well, uh, if I give you the chord and the riff, you know, I don't know if he did a pinch harmonic on this or not, but that's just what I like to do. Um, so let's see, from the chorus. My favorite part. Pop this G on a harmonic. You know, we've got the 12th fret, 9th fret, I don't know if you've ever tried that, 7th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret, and if you're really tricky, there's little harmonics here around the 3rd fret and between the 3rd fret and the 2nd fret. But, so I just play the D string and the G string. You know, if a little bit of that B string comes in too. Um, so leading into that I have this A and then that E chord with that little G sharp in the bass note. And here's how I like to play the open G chord. Again, one of my favorite open G chords. I play the top two fingers like it's like a standard G chord, only missing the first finger. And then I just lean that second finger over so I don't play the A string. So I end up essentially with five strings in the chord. <laughs> And if your guitar is still in tune, then you have this little climbing thing up to the second verse. Um, you have the F, the G, and the F sharp. Then you have the A and the G and the B and the A and the C sharp. I don't know how he fingered it. I honestly, I have no idea how he fingered it. This just, I hear the sound, I hear the notes, and that's how I did it. You might play it in a scale type thing. To me, that's more awkward. It's just easier for me to play like that, so that's the way I do it. So, I hope this helps. I hope you got something out of it. Enjoy, have fun.